So hello and welcome to You So You. My name's Zoe and this is my channel all about the crafty bits and pieces I get up to. I knit, I crochet, I sew, I spin on a drop spindle, I dabble in weaving and anything else that takes my fancy really. Now today we are looking at some free patterns that you can make up in time for Valentine's Day, which is only a week away. So grab a brew and let's get started. Welcome back to any returning viewers and to any new viewers a very warm welcome to you. So with Valentine's Day being just around the corner and the UK being under a national lockdown at the moment, uh, those of you who, who normally celebrate Valentine's Day by going out for, for a fancy meal or to the cinema or to catch a show, that kind of thing, are going to find it a little bit different this year. And if you're anything like me, the, the day may well have crept up on you a little bit by surprise. I mean, all the days that was running into to one and I've really not got anything prepared yet. So I've been looking around the internet for, for ways to make this year's understated Valentine's Day a little bit more special. And I found 10 free patterns for a variety of different crafts that you could conceivably make in less than a week. Potentially using things that are left over from other projects or sat around in your, your stash, depending on, on your crafting habits. Um, the links to all the, the patterns will be down below. So let's have a little look at these 10 patterns that I've uh, sought out for you. So our first pattern is this delightful knitted lace heart card from the Catch Loops blog. Now the blog post includes the written and charted instructions for this little motif as well as the instructions for turning it into a card. It's designed with fingering weight yarn, but it could easily be adapted into a larger project, perhaps a place setting or a dishcloth, um, anything like that, or a you know, patch pocket, that kind of thing, just by increasing the weight of the yarn that you use to make it. If you're really quick knit, you may well have enough of something in stash in any colour that you like in order to make it. So that's our first pattern. Um, as I say, it does have the instructions for the, the motif as well as turning it into a card as well. Now our second pattern is moving into crochet and we're sticking with the small motifs, small quick heart motifs here with this little crocheted granny heart square. Again, changing the weight of the yarn is going to change the size of the, the project itself. And granny squares are fantastic, they are so versatile. I can see this being used as the centre of a cushion cover or even in a thicker weight yarn, a heavier weight yarn being used to make the cushion cover itself. Um, or you could do one a year and turn them into blankets. I mean the world is your oyster with granny squares, they really are fantastic. And that is on top crochet patterns and again the link will be in the description box down below. Our third pattern is moving on to a Ravelry only pattern. Now I know Ravelry is not super accessible for a lot of people so do take care when you are going on to Ravelry. I haven't found this particular pattern anywhere else. It's the Love Bunnies Amigurumi pattern. Now to say that I haven't found this particular pattern anywhere else doesn't mean that there aren't loads of bunny patterns around. They're great for Valentine's, they're great for Easter, and they're great for spring. So there are oodles of, of bunny patterns around. I just particularly like this specific pattern, which is why I'm including it here. Um, but yeah, if, if Ravelry is not for you, feel free to, to Google around and find a similar pattern that you can access. Um, there are tons of, of rabbit, rabbit and bunny patterns out there, uh, both free and paid for. Number four on our list is available on both Ravelry and Lovecrafts. So if Ravelry is not your bag, there is another option there for this very same pattern. It's this colourwork hat, the Milder hat, um, yeah, Milder hat, and I didn't put down on my notes who designed it, so I will put that on the screen and obviously it will be down in the link below as well. Um, it's knit in worsted weight, so it'll be a super quick project. Um, it'll be a, a nice, simple introduction to colour work pattern if that's new to you and it shouldn't take very long to knit up at all because worsted weight is quite thick. Um, so there, that's four patterns down. Number five on our list is a free download from Rowan and it's the Love Heart Cheek Chicks. Nearly, nearly called them cheeks, they're not cheeks, they're chicks. 
and uh, these are worked in DK weight yarn and I know some of you out there are going to find these absolutely adorable yes fiber punk I am looking at you so that's the, on, on the Rowan website you download the PDF and it's all there for you number six and we are heading over to possibly the best named knitting blog ever snickerdoodle knits um, so the Snickerdoodle Knits blog has the lovely heart dishcloth pattern. This is another lacy heart pattern that you can easily adapt into other things. You can change the weight of the yarn to change the size of the project. You can repeat the motif more times to make a bigger project. You could use it for a baby blanket. You can use it for a blanket square and, and along with lots of other squares over time. Obviously don't do a whole blanket between now and, and next Sunday. That would be ridiculous. Um, but there is lots of versatility here in this particular pattern. Dishcloth patterns are great for that, just like granny squares. Number seven on our list is the Valentine Mittens. These are by Anita Vixton on Ravelry. Again, I haven't found them anywhere else, um, but there are quite a few heart-themed mittens around. They're not all free. I didn't find very many free ones around. Um, these particular ones are worked in sport weight, so they shouldn't take too long to knit up, particularly if you've knitted mittens before, and if you're familiar with doing colour work, um, they should be quite speedy. Um, it, if you're on furlough in particular, this would be a good project to do, um, if you're perhaps not quite as experienced with, with mittens and colour work, just give yourself a little bit more time to do it. Pattern number eight is another one that unfortunately I couldn't find on anywhere else other than Ravelry, but they are beautiful, so I'm including them. They are the Keep Me Searching for a Heart of Gold socks. So again, experienced sock knitters are not going to have a problem getting these done in a week. If you're new to socks, though, I would recommend taking your time over them. Um, speed knitting does increase your tension, and that can cause problems trying to get a colour work sock on your foot. Um, so if you're newer to socks, uh, newer to colour work socks, perhaps the move, leave these for another time or look at one of the other heart themed sock patterns that are around. There are quite a few um, sock patterns for free with heart themes on Lovecrafts if Ravelry is not for you. Um, and our final two patterns are moving away from the yarn crafts a little bit and we're getting something out there for the quilters among you. So first up, we have Connie Cresins, I hope I'm saying that right, Twisted Heart Valentine Mini Quilt. Now this motif is quite unusual, it's in, in the heart shape, but it's got this like little pinwheel blocks that I can see being used for lots of other things, so they've been quite versatile, and I think this would be a great project for fabric scraps. Um, I'm quite new to quilting myself, so do correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I see this as being quite a good scrap project. Um, it'd make a great wall hanging, make a great cushion cover, you could frame it, all sorts. It's really quite unusual, so I'm, I'm quite fond of that one. And the final, last but no means least pattern is another quilting pattern. It's the I Heart You Mini Quilt from Cluck Cluck Sew. Now at 10 at by 19 and 3 quarter inches, this could be a good sort of centrepiece on a, a table, almost like a table runner, but not quite. Um, or as a wall hang hanging um, and I, again it, you could be using off cuts um, if you're a dressmaker to make this one and um, quilters will no doubt have a little mini stash of um, fat quarters where you've used some of the bundle for one project and you've got one or two pieces left over that would be great for this project and um, so that's 10 free valentine's themed patterns that you can use either for gifts or for decor in your home to make this understated valentine's day that little bit more special in these, uh, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, <laughs> it's one one of those things. But we we can make these these special days a little bit special at home without too much fuss, without too much trouble, and most importantly, without too much expense. And um, so, as I say, all of those patterns are available for free. They are all linked down below. And depending on your craft, you may well have stuff in stash already that you can use for them, which is obviously great for for not just. Um, financing the project but also for time because quite frankly waiting for the post at the moment when you've only got a week to go I wouldn't count on it so I hope you found this useful and I hope it's given you some ideas for things that you can make this week ahead of Valentine's Day um, and if you've enjoyed my company 
feel free to like and subscribe uh, down below and ding that bell so you get notified as to when I post my next video. And until then, happy crafting and bye bye for now.